Hi everyone, I'm Luke and this is Accurate Grind, episode 4 of Hanging Pieces. So we are watching for Hanging Pieces because this is a fundamental in chess and we have to improve this in order to get better and we can focus later on more advanced concepts. So we are going to, again, play a rapid game and analyze it to try and learn as much as we can while practicing these basic uh, basic these uh, fundamentals of chess so let's go right away uh yeah sorry this now now you should see the my screen and not not only my face right so let's see what we can play today and we're gonna try and apply the lessons of the last three episodes to this lesson well to this session and if i remember the last three i can remember the last one which was a secret on defended pieces or secret hanging pieces um but the last two i just have to Go watch again. So it was say, taking advantage of single moves mistakes or blunders. And the first one, well, maybe I have to watch again another day. So, okay. I'm going to play the Petrov Petro defense. I'm gonna see if he knows it. Pretty sure he's gonna take. Let's see this. He's thinking about it. Oh, no, he doesn't take. He doesn't. Okay, just gonna play d6 and get ready to castle as soon as possible. Okay, so in the last episodes, we saw that sometimes pieces seem to be uh, they seem to be defended but they are not because if they defend them uh, they enter a tactical uh, a tactical few moves in which we have the the advantage so we can take advantage of it we saw that we saw that sometimes if we don't address our weaknesses as soon as possible we might we might uh, find ourselves in the position where we we just lose a lot of material because they found the tactical moves that advantage them so we have to keep attention keep paying attention to these things Let's just pian shadow this bishop. If he takes, I think I might take with the queen. He might bring his queen. But I'm just going to castle right away if he doesn't do anything. Okay, now he plays this, but this is pinned. But I'm alright. I'm alright because even if he takes, I can take and then there's this. I can just not take this knight. He goes here, I can take with my queen. I'm just going to castle. I'm just castling. Let's see what they do. Let's see what they do. Maybe I can fianchero this bishop too. But I think I want to play more aggressively. Maybe bringing this bishop to the g4, g4 square. Is going to be more aggressive. See if they attack it. If they do, maybe we can just bring it back, attack it this knight, and maybe we trade this knight with the bishop, something like that. Let's try to pin this knight first. Let's try to pin this knight. 
And yeah, we still have 15 minutes, so maybe we should take our time. Maybe we should take our time. Okay, so this knight could go here. But I want to put pressure on this knight, see what they do. Because I would not like very much to lose that piece. But I'm going to lose it, and it's okay. It's okay, because now my queen is going to be developed. Okay. Okay, well, I don't lose my bishop. So it's alright, I can just put it there. On the h8 file, h8 square. And I could open. I could go here. This is not so good. I could land that knight here. I think I'm just going to try and put that knight here on the d4 square. I think it's a good place to be. Uh, but we still have to keep paying, paying attention to these hanging pieces. So nothing is hanging here. This is all good, but this is hanging. Maybe I can just put it there if something happens. This is good. Because this might be hanging soon. But it is not. And now this diagonal is more open. Which is good for our bishop. Our black square, uh, dark square bishop. Okay, now they play this. Which means, which means that they open their king a little bit. <laughs> okay, I think they might want to attack one of my bishops. So I'm just going to hide that one. We have to pay attention to this one, which could attack us very soon with the queen. If the queen, yeah, but we are okay because we have. We have a diagonal. Okay, that's not good. That's not good at all because they have this. But I guess we can maybe create an attack on the king. Like so. Have to pay attention to these moves. That could just result in an exchange of queens. This might be hanging. Uh, the only piece, the only pieces I have hanging now are this and this. This might be hanging soon, so let's just keep track of this. Okay, now they open, they open their king even more, even more. I want to play with my queen and do something like attacking. Maybe just bring my rook here. Queen. I don't know, maybe queen here. No, rook here is bad because of this. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Oh, I'm not sure. Let's take our time. We still have 13, 14 minutes. Um, what can we do? What can we do? Moving the queen here, I don't think it's good. Moving here is better, I think. Because here it's going to be alone. I'm not sure I like that. Not sure I like that. I think I just want my queen to go here, maybe lift the rook, and maybe lift it this way, protecting this bishop. Bring this other rook, and it can go here, something like that. Okay, now attacking my queen. don't like it. I don't like it. I think it's a checkmate for us. They checkmate us. Because we don't have much we can do. 
nothing with these pieces. Only move is this. And they take with the queen and it's over. Yep. Just over. Let's just give up this game. But you know what? A defeat is something good for us at this point because we can learn from it. Going to put this in our games and see what we can learn from it. It was short, but it might be full of things that we can learn from. So let's see. Here, here, I would say the opening was pretty solid. Here, here, okay. This bishop, I should have tried to get rid of it. Something like that. Because like I said, I said it at this point, or maybe one move be after that, that uh, it could be a helper for the queen. And it became a helper for the queen, so. Maybe I should have brought something else attacking this. Maybe I should have just sacrificed my bishop. Or, you know, developed my pieces faster in this area. So the queen cannot come here as easy as it did. So, may yeah, maybe that would have been a good thing. This was bad, they say, but why? Why was it so bad? They take, I take, then they do this, okay. How bad is this for me? If I move here, what did they do? Do this, okay. Not sure why, why bring my knight here was so bad because maybe be, because it was defended by this knight, but I have this. But this was creating double pawns on the D file for me. At this point, I have pretty much the control of this area with all of these three pieces. And I had this after, after this uh, bishop moves. Did it move? Yes, it moved. But now, yeah, this bishop was not useful anymore. And I had not the control over these files. Well, this one, yeah, no, because there, there's this. So it's going to go here. They did that and this. And this was the final blow. I mean, yeah, there was nothing to do here. They take, and it's a checkmate. Okay, so the blunders, the blunders, there were two. This was a blunder, and this was a blunder. Because it, yeah, it abandoned the control over the, the G, G5 square. So that's why they, that's why they won. Because of that square, and because I had no pawn there. Why did I have no pawn there? Because of this. And why why this was able to move here? Because of this. Because this was this was uh, asking, begging for white pieces for the white knight to take it. And then after the exchange, they are able to do this. And they are able to attack our pawn structure. Because we already advanced this pawn. Okay. So, lesson of the day. Um, I would say, I would say, if, if there's an attack on the king's side, and you happen to have no other pieces protecting it, bring your pieces. Like, what am I doing here? There's nothing protecting my king. It's wide open. So, yeah, I think play more solid, play more defensive, bring your pieces to defend your base. 
when you are vulnerable, right? That's what I should have done. So, all right. Thanks for watching. Leave a like and a comment if you like this. And uh, I see you next time. Have a good one.